What's up guys and welcome to Dungeon Shattered Lands. This is a game that was announced and showed off at E3 earlier in the month and actually looks really cool. It is a third in the series of Dungeon games and it's coming later this year but I was lucky enough to receive a beta development build demo. It's actually really fun and really cool. Like I said, it's a development build so there's a lot of bugs and stuff. We're going to be doing a bit of a mini series on it because there's actually a surprising amount of content within it. Um, basically what that a mini series means is we'll be keep on playing as long as you guys one. If that's one episode, and after this episode you guys really aren't thrilled to see more, that's all record. But if you guys really like it, then we'll keep going, and we'll make five episodes, or ten episodes, whatever it is. And if you guys really enjoy this small series, I'll make sure to cover the uh, full game once it releases later this year. By the way, let's head into Dungeon Lot Shattered Lands, because this is really cool. I'm gonna delete this one. Yes, delete that slot, and head in, because this game is sort of a mix between Minesweeper and a roguelike, which is really darn cool. But we um, have a whole bunch Bunch of characters to choose from here, but unfortunately, we currently only have the Paladin to actually use. But that's okay, the Paladin's really cool. Paladin level one, a protector of the weak and the downtrodden, urgently fights against the undead and the evil. And you can see his stats and all the skills and stuff here. It's overall pretty darn cool. I don't know what his passives are actually. Killing an undead monster gives a chance to increase the next attack damage with 25%. Okay, cool. And then every tenth coin for your uh, holy brother, <laughs> your holy brotherhood. While others will pour this tax into their pockets, the paladins brothers will feed poor. So, and the so basically every tenth coin isn't yours. Okay, then that's sort of a downside, but that's okay. He still seems like an overall good class. Alrighty then, and here we are. Welcome to Pangeus, a world that relies on faith of its inhabitants and mana, a powerful magic essence derived from the bowels of the planet. In year 516, or 156 <laughs> BR, the people of Pangeus learned to get mana by drilling soil. They lived in prosperity in, and invented the most useful artifact, the mana phone. <laughs> it allowed users to speak a great distance. But because of the uncontrolled mana extraction from the planet is dying. Oh no, no one took it seriously, mistakenly believing that a mana resource is endless. Uh oh, they re overuse a resource. Have they never ever played a resource managing game before? <laughs> Ultimately, an irrepressible thirst for magic led to great rift. All right then, so the whole world is split apart here. And a cataclysm that broke Pangeus on several continents drifted in astral space, oh no. The discovery of ports was based on manaphone technology linked all continents once again. However, the true nature of portals remains unveiled. Unrevealed. So, it might be risky business to mess with them. Portals drained life energy and emotions from people materializing their nightmares. The undeads riz rised. <laughs> so expecting risen. Rise from the graves. Beasts mutated and became more aggressive. Soulless things animated by magic. Ooh. Darkness and despair covered weary lands. These days, the remains of humanity fight for survival. You are an adventurer driven by fame, wealth, and the unknown. You may save this world or die with it. Well, I, I would choose the former rather than the latter, but we got our first kingdom here, the Drammer Kingdom. The Drammer Kingdom is a cursed dying land. No description yet, located in the southern reaches of the Kingdom X. Okay then, let's head in. Now, there's a lot of small details that still aren't worked out about this game, because like I said, it's still in development. But here we go, this is our main world area. That's our boss. Moo! Get ready to die, Paladin. So act one, Wrath of the Zombie Cow. Oh no! <laughs> Not a zombie cow, that's the worst kind of zombie. So we get to start here though, and we can head into our level, as long as we click. And then we can see, um, this is our first crypt. It is the Crypt of the Newbies. Hopefully I don't die too much, or that'll be embarrassing. Many young heroes ended their lives in these crypts. All right then, well, let's head in. All right then, so now we're in. Come out and fight, filthy spawn of the underworld. Ooh, I love his voice, his voice is cool. So I've played a little bit of this, so I know he's like, not, like exactly, for the most part, what to do, but I'm not that good at the game so far, so hopefully I get good along with you guys. This is a skeleton, damage type is ice, okay then. Traits undead, can't bleed, 25% damage plus from fire. Okay then, that's not a bad deal then. Do we have, we do have this me deal, or this <laughs> magic spell. Uh, replenishes one health or deals one fire damage. The fire damage will help against him, but we don't have any of that yet. I'll have to make sure to keep an eye on that. But this is the cool thing, is that you don't actually have to fight any of the enemy enemies right off the bat. Like, I can just leave these guys be. But you can see that they sort of um, take up spaces that I can't dig through now because 
they are there. So if I want to keep progressing, I'm gonna to want to kill those guys. So we're gonna get this up. Ooh, a lantern is good. We'll use that in the next floor. And then this guy is a wicked target dummy. Weakness is 50% damage from fire. Okay then, so could, he would be even more damaging. But this guy is super weak, so we'll kill him off really quick and he doesn't have the key. Basically what we're doing is we're waiting for one of these guys to drop a key, because typically the enemies hold the keys and you have to kill whatever one it is that has it to get it. And this is a bat, chance to blight, and that's it. <laughs> it is venom, okay then. So we gotta be careful. A lot of these guys do have ailments, but there's a key, okay, cool. And then we'll go on through. Now with the lantern, ooh, ancient du dragon gas. The, the dungeon is filled with pungent gas from a dragon that lives nearby. Damage from fire increased. Be careful. Tip explore surrounding dungeon blocks to scatter the gas area. All right then, so you can see there is gas here, and if we hit people with fire that might be in that area, it will actually hurt them even more than what they're normally hurt. But if we do this, this is the lantern, so we can see what spaces are where. And this is actually super helpful. We know where the monsters are now and we can go, I wanna take out this food. Food's important because every time you go down to a new floor, you eat some food, and if you run out of food, you'll start losing your health here. And we can click on our guy here and see all different stats and information. There's even quests, which are super helpful, because the more coins we get, the more we can level up our character between runs, which is also super helpful. So it's like, if you do really, really bad, as long as you get some coins, you're in the clear. All right, let's do that. I did get a little poison there, that's okay. So you can see that it isn't exactly turn-based. All right, so that guy, oh hey, what happened to his smoke? Oh, come on. All right then, so I only have one of these. I could, yeah, I'll take him out. I'll just I'll just hit him with my hammer. There you go. And then, I, why does the smoke keep disappearing? I wanna, you know, hurt some of these guys with the fire and stuff, but all right, then let's use this on him. No, 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 use on you. We could also use that on ourselves to heal ourselves, but we're not going to bother. All right then. So we need to still find whoever has this key. Maybe it's you. Nope, <laughs> there's a lot of enemies to take out here though. I always go for the easy guys first, just in case. Nope, oh boy. Um, do I have, I do have um, some bombs here. This one is one track damage, I don't think he's resistant to it, so there we go. And we'll throw the other bomb that we have, the ice bomb. Now, I was hoping that this would uh, stun him, but not quite, but we still get the hit on him, and he does have the key. Cool stuff, all right then. And sometimes, if you clear out a whole four, it'll give you a chest. But we're not doing so hot this time. Ooh, the Ancient Guardian's my favorite. You've accidentally activated an Ancient Guardian while exploring the dungeon. The Guardian throws a stone at detected fiends. All right then, so basically, if an enemy pops up here, he'll throw a big old stone at them, and that, you know, it hurts them a lot, and it helps me a lot, so. We don't have anything. This is a very dangerous item. This is what you use if you really, really need the food, but since we have one provision left, I'm gonna hold off. Basically, we um get one provision but we also take some damage, so it's sort of like a, a tit for tat kind of thing. All right then, so, enemies galore, fun. Oh, we can take this guy out in one hit though. No, I missed, that doesn't help. I'm at 31 health right now, which isn't a ton. Hmm. Take care of this guy, and we still don't, nope, we don't have any skills. So we're not starting incredibly well, but we got a newbie. Okay, I'm a newbie, get 10 coins, okay, cool. Oh, we got 10 coins for that quest. Here's a lantern, at this point I'm gonna save that for the uh, next floor, because we're already having bad enough luck as it is. Doesn't really matter too much here. All right, take that guy out, because I really need the space to work with. Ooh, okay. If I, I don't know why sometimes he'll attack first and sometimes he won't. I guess it depends on the attack speed of the enemy, because if I click and hold, I can see some information. It won't let me know specifically what this information is. Like, I don't know what this one is. I guess deflecting? I'm not sure. Hmm. All right, more skeletons. But like I said, this game is in development, so if you see any bugs, if things don't seem very ironed down, that's okay, because it's not finished. It's still just fun to play, though. All right, then, there's a key for that area. And we'll get this bomb and just head on out of here. This level is throwing us for a loop. We really need some type of food, or you know, something that'll give us more health, so hopefully we find that soon. There are potions. All right, let's get this provision, that'll help. This is nothing. Sometimes the bags just don't have anything, which is fun. All right, then I might use this on myself just to heal up. Now, I want to uh, get this. This is a gem, sometimes it'll give you a bonus. If that one gave me one armor, they can also replenish your health, so that's good. Hmm. Ooh, that's good. This one always reminds me of the Witcher. It is a strange magic artifact. It, vi it vibrates in hands. Oh my, um, medallion. So basically, if we bring this to the shop owner, which is that any, I don't think there's a specific floor he shows up on. I think it can just be any floor. But when we bring it to the shop owner, 
um, he will give us a certain amount of gold for it, which is pretty cool. And we already have 21 coins here, so we're doing pretty well. All right, this guy's not pleasant. We don't have anything too much to fight him. I can throw a bomb at him. The fire will do some good damage on him. Then I'll just hit him myself. No, why do I, I'm missing so much today. <laughs> Gosh darn it. All right, let's take this guy out. Hmm. I'm just trying to see like who could it be. I just want to take out these easy enemies just in case. Yep, there it is, awesome. And usually I try my best to clear out a floor, but with six health, I don't think that's gonna work. Okay, here's the shopkeeper. Get 25 coins for that, cool stuff. And then, ooh, we did get a chest there. How much is this gonna have? Ooh, 61 coins in total. We can also give up some of our provisions um, for health here. So what I think I might do is I'm gonna use this, and then I'm gonna use this again. And there we go, now we have three provisions, and I'm gonna use two of them right now. There we go. So that, that'll help a little bit. And we do have 60 coins. Of course, we wanna hold on to some of it so that we can um, use it to upgrade it. Oh, look, I see the little Hyrule sword there, or shield there. And I think that might be the Hyrule sword here. <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, I don't think, I think we're gonna starve it out for this time. We have 16 health, that isn't very much at all, so we're probably going to die soon. But that's okay though, because like I said, we can use these coins to upgrade ourselves in the, in the very near future, so, hmm. Deep dock, monsters attack first, accuracy decreased by 10%. So it looks like these buffs can also be not so much buffs. <laughs> Use lantern to scatter the darkness. All right then. Um, yeah, let's get that one. That's a fish. Oh, what does a fish do? Raw and wriggling fish, precious. <laughs> one plus one to provision and also plus 25% to magic resist. I don't think we've actually ran into any enemies that do magic because this is physical damage like the bat. Yeah, this is physical and then this is physical. So I mean, that didn't help too much, but the provision it give, gives me is actually helpful. I wish I sort of already had that for the uh, bed earlier. Hmm. Well, we're taking damage, we were taking damage from the uh, rotten meat there, which was what was happening, that's not good. We do have a few bombs, oh wait, no we don't. <laughs> I thought we did, I don't know why I thought we did. There's a few bombs though. All right, this one's a poison bomb, yep. All right then, it's not gonna hurt much of any of these guys. Let's just take out this one, I think this one will be the best one to take out. I have my feelings about it, but no, it's hit, it's hitting me more than I'm hitting it. I don't know why we're missing so much. I guess, I don't know. Oh, the darkness, that's right, uh-oh. I don't really have anything to do about this. Like, I can't really break any blocks, so using the lantern won't really help. So it looks like we're dead. The Crypt of Movies has failed. <laughs> I can't believe we couldn't even make our way past the first dungeon, but I guess that's sort of the nature of the beast. All right, dying like a bull. <laughs> yep, that's exactly what I did. Okay then, so with that being said, we'll head back now. And there we go, now, hello, Paladin, are you ready for some training? Yes, I am. So this is where we can train our skills, and I will get some health, I'll get one of everything. I'll get my vitality up, I'll get my power up, and I'll get my armor up, and leave myself with two coins, so that I have at least a little working room for the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like I said, make sure you let me know and show me your support so that I know if I should keep posting you know, levels on this video, but either or <laughs> videos on this game. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.